Okay, so say you want to be able to BCC Salesforce every time you send an email and log that in. This video is intended to show you how to do that. So first thing you need to do is you need to be able to get your BCC address. It's a unique email address that you will BCC every time you send an email to anybody. So that's the first thing you do. Let's go and do that. First thing you do is you go up to your name or the name of the account you're using at the top. You click down and you select setup. Then you go over to the email section of the setup and yours may look a little different depending upon your security permissions but you're looking for under the email tab my email to Salesforce. Select that. This is the magic email address that you're going to use. Now we will come back to that in a minute and talk it through. What you need to do first is you need to be able to put in your email address and make sure that Salesforce is set up to accept emails from your email addresses. So in the My Acceptable Email Addresses form, put in the email address you'll be sending from. In this case, we'll put test at test.com. Then the only other thing you need to do is you need to look at these two boxes right here. So the first one is always save email attachments, and we encourage you not to save email attachments because it saves space in Salesforce. You can always look for the email attachments in the email itself if you ever need to refer to them. The second one is email me confirmation of association. So what this means is every time you BCC, if that box is checked, it will send you a confirmation. And we suggest that you get confirmations for the first week to two weeks to make sure that you're comfortable. So once you've done that, before you hit save, make sure to copy this email address right here. And with that, you're done with the first part of getting ready for BCCing a communication. 